this is Stacy or Stacky Scraps, and I'm very excited today to be bringing you a brand new tutorial in conjunction with ScrappyDo.com. I want to take a moment first and let you know that I have a brand new website. It's StackyScraps.com, and I'd love for you to check it out if you get a chance. Today, we will be focusing on taking a PDF image, which is not directly supported in Make the Cut, and using the screenshot technique to bring it into Make the Cut. So let's get started with that. The first thing I need is an image. I'm going to go to my own website here and go to the coloring pages section. This is a section of links for free coloring pages that have been tested for Make the Cut. And I'm going to come down to Coloring Planet because that has a PDF image type. And while this is opening, I did want to let you know that I'm a little under the weather, so I'm hoping that my voice will hold out, but if anything funny happens with it, at least know why. And now I want to scroll down and take a look, and let's do Valentine's, why not? So now I'm looking for an image that really grabs my attention. And let's see. I really like this snake. Now I realize that it looks like these images aren't going to come out traceable because of the rendering of the thumbnail, but I've worked with this site before and I know that most of them do come out great. So let's talk a second about what we're about to do. Basically the idea behind a print screen is that it's like someone took a camera and photographed what was on your screen at that point in time. So the first thing we need to do is get our screen ready. So we want to zoom out on the picture until we can see the entire snake. And if we adjust a little bit like this, we can see the entire snake. So what that's going to do is it's going to take a copy and put it to your clipboard when you print screen. So then you need to paste it into another program so you can save it as a photo image. I am going to use paint because it's something that I think most Windows users will already have on their computers so you don't have to download anything. You can certainly use any photo editor at all. So let's go for paint. It's in all programs. Accessories if you're not familiar. And there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my snake and I'm ready to take my print screen. The print screen button, if you're not familiar with it, tends to be towards the top right of your computer keyboard. It usually says PRT space SC. So let's go ahead and take a print screen. Now we're going to go into paint and we're going to paste our print screen in there. So there's our snake. He's a little hard to see because he's so big. So we're going to do view zoom so we can see the whole thing. Now what we want to do is crop our snake. We don't want all this stuff to be brought to make the cut. We just want our snake. So we're going to see that the selection box is ready to go. And we're going to go around the image. It doesn't matter if you have extra white space or not, as long as you get everything you want for the image. So you click and drag and then release. And you're going to go image, crop. And this is going to give us just what we want from our snake. So now what we have to do is save it. So we're going to do file, save as. And it's important that we save it in a format that is acceptable to make the cut. So JPEG is one of the formats, and I'm going to name it Valentine Snake. Okay, so, so far so good. Now let's see if it actually works and make the cut. So I'm going to go to a new MTC project, and I'm going to go to custom shapes, and I'm going to go to my trace raster image, my girl silhouette, and I saved it to my desktop. Here it is. And while we wait, and you can see that it looks pretty good. And if we blow it up, there you have it. So that's how you can take an image that's PDF and would not upload into Make the Cut and make it make the cut ready. Thank you so much for staying with us. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you on another tutorial soon.